Welcome to Box to Box FPL Show Double Game Week 25. Na recap ya Game Week 24. Obviously, the show is brought to you by none other than Uber Eats. Na tuko na group pale community mkubwa pale WhatsApp. Tuko na yeah, link is in the description. Unaweza ingia kutoka na mau group kadhaa kuna ball, FPL, rugby, NBA. Kitu tunataka F1. F1 is coming soon by the way. So guys, just be wary of that. Then I have great news. I think I told you guys last week. Um officially as of last week, our show is now on Apple Podcast. And our show is also on Spotify. So yeah, just in case you guys cannot catch us on YouTube or to pale IG, TikTok, Nini, just go to those places. Kiss a podcast, no say download, you can listen to it on the go. The only thing I need help from you guys is that skizani. Nimekwa eggs jaqua consistent na posting time. Nimekwa ni kitoa la kinis jaqua consistent. So Afko Nimesha, I want your suggestions. Ni patia pokwa description. There's three options. Either we do the show on Tuesday, full show, and it's out on that Tuesday. Uh oh, we do it on Thursday. It's out on Thursday. Disadvantage ya Thursday ni you don't hear about the previous game week Thursday kishafika. Tuesday it's a bit too soon because Champions League kifanyika msia umie ni hivyo una cheki. So um then option 3 is we do a short show on Tuesday recapping and a short show on Thursday. The only disadvantage of that is that you have to shoot twice, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm telling you too. If that's better for you guys, you let me know uh write in the comment section uh put it in um our DMs, wherever you want to put it, like you have, you have all the platforms: Facebook, IG, TikTok, DM, email, Ukitaka, Tokpatia. So yeah, so don't hesitate to share with us and let us know when you guys think we should be doing um, our box to box FPL show, and we shall be having guests soon. So it's going to be a whole thing and fans. Actually, that is my biggest thing. My next big thing is to involve you fans into this show because. I feel like my ideas poor poor. There's a reason why I'm nini. We are struggling to even make the top four hundred because Wasi Wasi Wako on their game, right? So yeah, if you guys are interested, just hit me up um on the DMs and on box to box DMs. So uh without further ado, to Nangia straight kwa recap ya game week twenty-four. Apple game week twenty-four to Liwai Amiga. 79 points. 79 points was not so bad because there are people who have really, really struggled, but uh, there are others who did very well because the average for this game week was uh, actually 62 points. Um, looking at our team specifically, Pale Numa took on Dubravka to put your one point. Oh no, oh, oh wow, is this guy believe it? Saliba came through with 12 points. Saliba was that man at the back, the man at the back, you know. Saliba was really, 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 really good at the back. Um, he gave us his goal. Tosha applause, man. Gave us his goal as uh, and uh, clean sheet. Um, Gabriel as well, 12, but not in our team. Pedro Porro Mbili. Peke, only two points. Um, the other person who just really disappointed our team was none other than a stupid yan. Like I just look at that, I just look at that zero and I am just wondering, Yani. This guy, there's nothing he has given to us uh, the last few game weeks. So he plays Sheffield next, and I think that's probably the last option we have, or the last time. As for against Sheffield, we just have to think about it. I love European games, and I feel like they'll play him in Europe more than in the Premier League. So, anyway, um, Pale Katikati midfield, uh, our captain, Ilkwa Diogo Jota. Diogo Jota will come through. Uh, now, 14 points, not so bad. Palma, Palma really just saved, saved himself. He was about to get his points, Billy Kama Kawaida. And then, no, not Kama Kawaida, but. He managed to get two assists like at the end of the game. 89 and 92, I think. Like that is that is that is clutch coming in the clutch. The Bruyne, I let put your four points. Um, obviously, the person who gave us the most points in our team this game week was none other than Bukayo Saka. I let put your 15 points. Uh Palembele Aling Holland, 13 points, Hoylun, six points, now Watkins, Akatupatia. Mili peke, mili peke. Tukiangalia ligi zetu, um, 
za box to box FPL show tuko league box box FPL show tumetoka for 52 hadi 391 not so bad um, everything is green arrows apart from one league uh, good company tumetoka 1328 hadi 1179 in Kenya tumefika 256 10 to 56 overall we have climbed a uh, 100,000 places not bad not bad not bad not bad um uh yeah then we're looking at the team of the week the team of the week these are the guys who just shown this week the person who had the most points in game week 24 was none other than arsenal alipata 17 points uh, he had a goal against his former team west ham had two assists as well offset pieces is starting to become a real big threat from set pieces i think he has the highest ratio of assists from set pieces if i'm not wrong so someone worth worth considering but this i he's really dependent on set pieces if you if you're to get another arsenal midfielder even trossard doesn't get that many minutes is still going to outdo him just because trossard gets goals you know um but yeah arsenal are the best team in scoring set pieces so also something worth considering three players tied on 15 points galaga bruno and saka bruno g that is bruno gimarsh alaf palembele uh Muniz na Haaland 13 points, Vinicius also 13 points alifunga bao mbili I think against Luton for Sheffield who got a surprising away win up for Luton. Um Luton wako on form by Alafu defense Regulon, Gabriel na Saliba 12 points apiece and then Flecken I think aliwai alipata assist. If I'm, I think I think aliwai assist I'm not too sure. I think he did. Um oh yeah he did he did because Nilana those are start saying that he has more assists in the Premier League um than uh Anthony is on story that jabba so top transfers in uh Erling Holland it quite obvious double game we coming through um Diogo Jota next Darwin in third place Hoylund in fourth place and Luis Diaz in fifth place four out of those five have double game week so not surprising and then top transfers out Solanke to Limtoa last week so yeah I, makes sense Watkins, Julian Alvarez, Bowen, Alexander Arnold. Those are the five most transferred out players. For Alexander Arnold, it's more of his injury. Um Nimengo Shakalamu. I'll try and pick it up with my foot. Oh! So Trent, yeah, Trent Ali Ali Klopp said it was a knee injury, so we don't know how long that's going to be out for, but he was going to be one of the key players for game week 25, double game week 25. So he could miss takwa takwa tricks. Another player who got injured, severe injury was Cunha, Mateus Cunha. Um the coach said O'Neil, I think Gary O'Neil, the coach of Wolves. Um I was really struggling to remember that name. I love when you can talk about Vivi Ikatoka. Um yeah, because my injury is significant hamstring injury. So Coco na just start thinking of looking of potential replacements. Uh looking at players that performed well, um obviously Bukayo eight shots. Luis Diaz four shots on target shots in the box Saka na Jota tied on six big chances Saka Saka had three goals Saka Haaland Gimares and Muniz got uh, braces highest xg Bukayo Saka non penalty xg Luis Diaz key passes Alfie Doty someone I'm going to talk about again shortly uh, big chances created Declan Rice Martin Odegaard William Nathan Collins two uh, for all of them assist Cole Palmer Declan Rice Martin Odegaard and Javier Lott two expected assist rate and Christie 0.91 most fpl points as we said earlier it was none other than rice, rice, expected points it was none other than uh, bukayo saka looking at teams uh the teams with the most shots arsenal liverpool and bournemouth each had 25 shots wow wow highest xg 3.66 arsenal highest xg considered west ham of course and then lowest xg cons- goals west ham and lowest xg considered arsenal 0.21 each west ham were really bad this weekend like this 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 is this this was one of their worst performances i've ever seen um oh yeah looking at the captains that we selected for you last week this is just like a small segment that i want to to i i keep telling you choose captain like this and we don't look back who has who has how they performed so Our first captain was Jota, he got 7 points, got a goal. Um Nunez, we got he got 6 points, I'll put a bonus bonus. Richarlison got 2 points. Uh Saka got uh 15 points. 
And then um, Haaland had 13 points after scoring two goals. And that is how our captains did in game week um, uh, 24. Yes, that is how the captains did in game week 24. So now we want to jump straight into game week 25, which is a double game week. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot happening in game week 25, um, which I believe we need to go through all of it. Um... It's going to be a long one, but yeah, we might as well do it now than say we're going to do it later. Cindy, uh, we do it now, we get through with it, not so many evil. So, um, as you guys know, we're double game week 25. The teams that are on, are on game week, double game week 25 are Liverpool, who play Brentford and Brentford away, Luton at home, Luton, who are playing United at home and Liverpool away, Brentford, who are playing Liverpool at home and Man City away. Hey, tough for those two. And then Man City who have Chelsea at home and Brentford at home, their favorites for double game week. So we'll start with Brentford. Um, the people that we're really, really looking at in this team are Maupai and Tony up front. Um, Maupai, obviously 20 appearances. Tony has only made four, but he has three goals in his four appearances. Um, Maupai has been okay. Nimso Anatotatuatu, like he is such a... If you guys have watched Maupai properly, you'll see how... Hey, Anajoku instigate. He's a professional instigator after what he told Kyle Walker. Hey, if you don't know, just Google it. Just Google it. Google it right now. Google it. Um, Yeah, and then um, 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 looking at the defense, the person that I'm really, really high on in this team, if you're going to get him defensively, is Reguilon. Um, when you look at predicted points here, he's not high because he's not predicted to even start to start both games. But for me, I think... He gives them so much from the left side. The only thing with him is, uh, or with Brentford, they've started to seven twelve on the left side, but they lost, what was their left back's name? The guy who got injured at the beginning of the season for the whole season. Forget his name. Um, but this is how they're ranking their players in terms of who will get the most points. They have Tony, Flecken, Nogard, Maupai, um, Jensen, Visa, Janelt, Godos, Collins, and Pinock. So that's in order of who's going to get the most points in this double game week. Tony has 11, uh, predicted to get 11 points this week. Flecken 6.8, Nogat 6.5. So not amazing, but yeah, right there. Um, next, Luton Town. Luton Town. This is going to be a fun one. The two people that I'm really, really looking at in this team are Doughty and Adebayo. Doughty, um, Ali Blank, the first time since game week 18 last week. So I'm going to get points. He's just been getting points since game week 18. The first time he blanked was last week, game week 24. Um, the real threat from assist key passes Umona, and he led the, the 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 league in key passes last week. Mm. Adebayo though the value it's for him it's just the value. I value poor. He allows you to get other players. He allows you to get KDB and all those guys. Bila um, in a position that's not that 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 has many players, many good players that are expensive, right? Ukombele. So yeah, just something to consider. If you're really into Luton players, these are the two players that I'd be looking at. Um, looking at their ranks. Oh, someone else you know worth considering is Buckley. Buckley plays as a deep lying midfielder. Lakini and an Ambele Sana. He's really, really going forward. So someone worth considering as well. Um, yeah. So if you look at this map, Adebayo is one who has the highest projected points for the double game week, 8.9. Buckley at 7.5, Ogbene at 7.2. Kaminsky at 6.8, Morris at 6.7, and then Doty at 6.1. Um, yeah. Next up, Liverpool. The two players, key players that we're looking at up front, especially um, because I'm, I'm going to do a comparison of Darwin and Salah because we don't know if Salah is going to be fit for this game. He's back in training, but chances are he'll only play one and come off, come on as a sub or might only play one. So we don't know. That is why... I think the next best best option, obviously, we after Jota, right? Jota is is number one. Number two, Darwin or Salah. Darwin, because Salah is a kuja game moja na kupatia points kada. Unamjua. Mo unamskianga tu. Unamjua mo unamskianga tu. Yeah, so we have Salah, who's 20 appearances, obviously coming off a hamstring injury after Afghan. He has 14 goals, 8 assists. Like, I don't need to say much about Salah Tunamjua. Dawi Nae, um, he's been good. He's been good. He's been scoring. He's been hitting the post a lot. <laughs> I think he has, he scored, he hit the post. He gave me a last one, he said, I'll go to post. He'll go to post. He'll go to post and the fans didn't even know. They're like, ah, to show us where. 
Um, so yeah, Darwin is someone who really, really worth considering in this double game week if you cannot afford, um, if you already have Jota and you think of a second Liverpool player. Um, in terms of defense, um, Virgil van Dijk is up there. For me personally, seeing that Trent is injured, I will, I, I am, I'm leaning towards Bradley who missed the last two games. Um, unfortunately he lost his dad. So, um, our condolences, but someone who just attacks, 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 and he's looking like he's, he can really cross a ball. He looks like a young Trent. Um, for me personally, if the two options in defense, Van Dyke and, um, and uh, what's his name, Bradley. The good, the one thing about Liverpool you have to realize is we had a double game week this week, but next week we're on a blank game week. So if you spend too much money on them and you can't offload them next week or even one, on a part of the money is tied up because they're playing EFL Cup, Carabao Cup final. So Doty for me is a better option because I'm looking at game week 26 as well. Um, predicted points, Darwin 11.4, Diogo Jota 10.7, Luis Diaz 9.0, Virgil van Dijk, 8.5. Alison Becker, 8.1. And Konate, 7.5. That is for Liverpool. And then we move on to Man City. Man City, I think this is the differential. The man need to be watched. Obviously, you, you will go for KDB. You will go for Haaland. But Phil Foden is someone worth considering. He has 8 points, game week 19. 12 points, game week 20. He then 21, he blanked 2 points. 22, he had 6 points. 23, he had 20 points. 24, he had 3 points. And he just scored in the Champions League. So someone worth, worth, worth considering um, as a third option to Haaland and De Bruyne. Obviously, Haaland is up top in terms of predicted points for Man City for this double game week, 17.2. De Bruyne at 12.2, now Foden at 10.1. Julian Alvarez at 9.3, Rodrigo at 8.2. And if you look at the predicted points for this game week, which, funny enough, coincides with our captain picks for game week, uh, double game week 25. This is them. Haaland, De Bruyne, Darwin, Tony, and Diogo Jota. Um, yeah, I've just given you a spoiler for our captain picks, but when we get to that, this is basically the list. Um, total predicted points for everyone on double game week. Haaland up top, 17.2. De Bruyne, 12.2. Darwin, 11.4. Tony, 11.0. And Jota, 10.7. So those are like the five main players to have um, in this double game week. Um, double game week? Double game week 25. Yeah, and that is our double game week preview. Um, next up, I want to talk about something small called the free heat. So I know many guys want to, I think of doing, uh, using a chip this week. The two most popular ones this week are going to be a free hit and a triple captain. Um, so I think let's just start with a free hit. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, so free hit. These are some of the things, pros and cons. Um, if the one thing you need to, if you don't have Liverpool or Man City, players bro, si panic, my bro. Brav. Oh, si panic. if you don't have any of those two si panic. free hit is your friend this is where we are going to use the free hit so my my rule for free hit this week ni kama una our assets completely or maybe you only have one if you only have one and you or have none you have to use the free hit because it's it's looking you need to get these points but the one of the major cons of using a free hit this week is that um Man City work on a double game week E25, but and a fixture in 26. Liverpool have 25, 2, and then none in 26. So um Man City assets will still be valuable in game week 26. So you still want them in your squad, right? So if you're going to get a minus four to get two more Man City players in, it's still worth it because they will give you um and product in game week 26, right? Um, you don't want them to go away because free hit, that's how the free hit works. So for those of you who don't know how um, the free hit works, uh, if I can find it. Yeah, so anyway, free hit, you basically have it for, once you activate it, you can't you can't remove it. It's activated for the entire game week. Um, 
then you can remove everyone and put uh, a whole new team in. But then once that game week is over, your old team comes back. So that's the disadvantage. If you bring Man City players a lot for end and at 26 or on a game week poor, you do not want to um, suffer like that because other people will be gaining. The other big disadvantage of playing double game week this week is that there are players who have really good fixtures in this game week that you still miss out on. So um, people like the Arsenal defense or Saka going up against Burnley might still give you more points than Luton and Brentford who have double game weeks, especially knowing that uh, Liverpool play, sorry, Luton play, um, no, Brentford play Man City and Liverpool, and then Luton play Man U and Liverpool, I think, or Man U and Man City. Uh, 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 who do Luton play? Man U, Luton play Man U and Liverpool, and then Brentford play Man City and Liverpool. So, having Saka in that game week is still a match, uh, someone who has a higher projected points than any of those defenders or strikers from those teams. Maybe the only person is Tony, right? That will definitely give points. So something to consider because you still have Saka, Arsenal, uh, the Arsenal defense and Saka against Burnley. Gross and Estupinian playing Sheffield United, really good fixture. Richarlison going up against Wolves, Watkins going up against Fulham, Trippier going up against Bournemouth. You don't want to not have these people and have a whole team of double game weeks and you have Akina Doty and um, Doughty, Doughty, meaning more Africa, Doughty. <laughs> um, you have like in a Doughty and uh, what's his name? And Adebayo and all these people. Yet Richarlison can score two goals against Wolves on a cheeky. So just something to consider. Um, even with one fixture, Gabriel, Saliba, Estupinian, Poro, Raya, Richarlison, Watkins, Trippier, Gross, um, Saka can all outscore Luton and Brentford uh, players. Um, also, you don't need to have everyone. You don't need to have a whole team of double game weekers. Eh? If you have three of them, bro, si panic, my bro. Bravo. Si panic. you only need Haaland, another Man City player, and two Liverpool players. To be honest, like that's what you need. You see now that Trent is injured, it makes our decisions much easier. That means you really don't have to force a Liverpool defender. You really don't have to force a Liverpool defender. But if you can get Haaland and another Man City player, that attacker, that could be De Bruyne or Foden. Alafu, you go for Darwin and Jota. I think you're covered. You are good. Also, you don't have to play the free hit this week. You can play it in game week 26. You can play it uh, uh, game week 29, which is the week I'm personally targeting because game week 29, as of this moment, there are only three confirmed fixtures. Uh, the only the teams that are playing are Brentford, Burnley, Tottenham, Fulham, Aston Villa, and West Ham. You do not have many of those players. You probably have Watkins and Richarlison, and that's it. So if you can keep that... I know there'll be more fixtures. Maybe you'll get to like uh, 10 teams playing because the others are, have an FA Cup fixture. It's going to affect the others in one or another. So for me personally, I'd keep that free hit for 29. And then game week 34 is also another potential. There's a blank game week and double game week because of FA Cup. And game week 37 is the biggest double game week of the season. So I'm sure by that time we'll have played it and at that time we'll be looking at a bench boost. So... Yeah, just something worth, worth considering. Um, with that being said, we have a free hit team for you guys. If you guys decide to do a free hit team, this is these are the players that I would go for personally. Um, um, I've not I've not put the other guys like in Asaka, Grosses, Charleston, and Stupinian. I'm just giving the top three of every of all the four teams that are double game weeking. So in goalkeeper, you have Flecken and Kaminski. Those two have really potential. Um, again, and, and Arsenal goalkeeper can concede Nivo. If Flecken gets five points from two games, it's still better than three or two, right? For someone like Raya. Um, Reguillon for Brentford, I would go for Reguillon and Ivan Tony. Those are my two key players for Brentford. For Liverpool, I am thinking Bradley, Diogo Jota, and Darwin. The reason I'm thinking Bradley a lot is because 26, they have a blank. And if you've done all of these things, um, I mean, okay, if you've made a sub. If it's a free hit, then you can go for Van Dyke. But if you go for Bradley, it allows you to have money to get De Bruyne, Foden, and Haaland in. That is the biggest reason of having Bradley in the free hit. But transferring him in, the advantage is you don't have to think about removing him next. You can bench him and not worry. But for someone like Van Dyke, if you bench him with Diogo Jota, there's a lot of money just sitting on your bench. So that's something I'm thinking about as well. For Luton... Um, obviously, there's Flecken. We said Flecken for Brentford, yeah? So Flecken, Reguilon, and Tony. 
for Liverpool Bradley Diogo Jota and Darwin for Luton Kaminski Doughty and Barkley but with if you have to go Kaminski that means you have to drop one of Adebayo or Barkley right because <laughs> up front then we can't then have Darwin Haaland and and Adebayo Tony is a much better threat a much bigger threat than Adebayo so personally if you go with the front three of uh, Tony Darwin and Haaland then you have to have Barkley in midfield or Doughty and then for Man City for De Bruyne Haaland like straightforward <laughs> Um next up for those of you who are thinking of using triple captain this week I think the options are only uh there's one big option which is Haaland like let's just be honest like there's no one else but if you're looking at if you can't afford Haaland in your team for some reason I think the next best option would be between De Bruyne and Diogo Jota so just have that in mind but I think in terms of playing a triple captain this is a really really good week to play a triple captain and yeah that is our guide for chips free hit and triple captain for double game week 25 and with that being said now we move on straight to our captain picks yes 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 yeah captain pick so captain pick for game week uh 25 why can't i see my captain picks i had made this list and yeah here we go it's uh game week 25 Um, number one is Erling Haaland. Um, obviously, having playing Chelsea and Brentford at home, man loves playing against Chelsea for some reason. Um, he's already scored two goals last week. He scored in the Champions League. He is just on fire. So definitely, definitely someone worth considering captaining and even triple captaining. And then De Bruyne, one of the games against his former team Chelsea, he always shows up against Chelsea. Always, always shows up. Had two assists in the Champions League. The only thing I'd say about Haaland is because the games are like 3 days apart he might not even finish that Brentford game he might not even start it so just have that in mind that's the reason why I think Haaland is still a better option just because we I think we're sure Haaland is going to play the full 90 both games and then next up Darwin Darwin Nunez um again someone who has two fixtures he is playing uh what am I forgetting he is playing Luton at home and he is playing Brentford away so he's been on fire he's been scoring goals like definitely definitely someone worth considering as captain he's hit the post a lot but the one thing with the FPL is that you rather have a player who gets into good cha- uh, areas to score and that is something that he does so well then Ivan Tony um next up Brentford have two tough fixtures they have uh, who do they play who do they play they play Man City away and they play Liverpool at home but ever since he came back i think he only blanked one game so he has three goals in four games he's already showing what they were missing and you and visa is back so he's not the main focal point he's not the only one as the focal point he has some help which makes him even more dangerous because he has more space to operate in so yeah tony someone to worth considering as captain and then in um last place Rather not last place, but someone who is like a sleeper for me is none other than oh, Diogo. Diogo Jota. The man has s- uh, got seven points last week, but he is just he he's averaging his form is nine point zero. So nine point zero is the average of his last three game weeks. He's averaging five point two point points per match, but the last three game weeks is averaging nine point zero per game. So he is just dangerous, dangerous dangerous man yeah so i think he's someone you can't leave out from your team generally but you also have to just consider having him as captain for game week 24 is it double double game week moving on to clean sheet odds this is how We expect the teams to look like this week the team with the highest clean sheet odds Man City 45 and 50% 45 against Chelsea and 50 against Brentford if they get clean sheet for both and you have Ake you are sorted Ake is one of the defenders you're going to look at at Man City um then Liverpool at 55% against Luton Arsenal at 50% against Burnley and then um Everton at 45% against Crystal Palace which is is not a bad shout because Crystal Palace are just lacking attacking uh uh prowess with uh, Eze and 
nani injured is and olise injured play teams that are sure to score two plus goals or projected to score two plus goals i will just go with the guys who are over 45 percent i'll say 42 percent so 55 percent chelsea man city over brentford 55 percent chance liverpool 58 percent chance to score two plus goals against burnley um then man city 48 percent chance to score two plus goals against chelsea i think for man city i'll take both and then uh spurs 42 percent chance to score two plus goals against wolves i'll take that as well liverpool um 42 percent chance against brentford i'll take that as well arsenal 45 percent chance against money i'll take that as well united 31 percent chance against luton eh, if you're about that um and spurs uh i think i said spurs newcastle um I've really gone past 45 and I said 45 but yeah Newcastle 38% against Bournemouth Brighton 38% against Sheffield United and that is how our that is how our clean sheet odds look like for double game week 25 now moving on swiftly moving on swiftly moving on swiftly to our team for game week 25 I'm about to surprise you guys a few changes have been made vitus mefanyika hapa na pale lakini nothing too drastic so as you can see dubravka is in goal we have dubravka in goal he's playing bonmouth away uh, sorry he's playing bonmouth at home i think that's a good fixture for him uh, then we have saliba the back Pedro Poro and the Stupinian, as I said, the Stupinian in your last chance. Sheffield United who's poor performance in your last chance. Uh, alafu Apo in midfield to Kona. To Kona Nani? Bukayo Saka, Bandli away. And then uh, we made one sub. We brought in Ganacho, who is going to... Actually, made two subs, if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, two subs. Ganacho and Darwin. Um, Darwin is came in for Solanke. Um, then Ganacho came in for Anthony Gordon who actually um was not supposed to be playing but then he ended up playing he was on a boot protective boot nanyaka samata cheza but they ended up playing the other person we have in midfield is none other than Diogo Jota he's partnered in midfield by the main man at uh, Man City I'll say main man because he's, he's probably the biggest or the best uh, midfielder in the Premier League ever Ati, who did you say? Yes, we have Kevin De Bruyne uh, in midfield. So that's a midfield of Saka, Ganacho, Diogo Jota, and Kevin De Bruyne. Pale mbele, tunanzi wana... Darwin, Darwin, Nunes. That song has stuck in my head. Guys, I am going to disturb you guys with this thing. Na mkibweka pia mseme. Mkisama gimebui mebui pia na tunatoa. And then Hoilun is up front. And then uh, the main man up front. And the person who's going to be our triple captain for game week, double game week 25, is none other than... The man is going to get the captain's armband and we're going to play our second chip of the season because we played wildcard in the first half of the season. And we're going to give the triple captain to... And that is how our team looks like for double game week 25. And with that, we are at the end of our show. That was Box to Box FPL show. This is one of the longest show I've ever done. Um, we're at 30 something minutes, right? Wow, that's actually quite long. Again, the show is brought to you by Uber Eats, Mrs. Sahau. Took on a community uh, box to box, parlay, what's up? You guys are all welcome. Link is in the description. We are now available on Spotify, on Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, and of course on YouTube. You guys are all welcome. Um, yeah, box to box at your show community. Again, I uh, gave you guys a bit of a challenge. Let me know when we should be doing this thing. Should we do uh, an episode on Tuesday, another one on Thursday? Or should we do one on Tuesday, a big one, and one on Thursday? You guys know the pros and cons of all of them. And yeah, that's our show for this week. Peace!